Hi guys, welcome to the cool down. Okay, without further ado, let's get started with what we're gonna to do today. Because you're probably wondering what all this lot's doing over here. Here's just a little of my soft toy collection, or maybe my wife's soft toy collection. Um, what we're gonna be doing today is a bit of balancing, but it's not us that's balancing this time. We've done lots of balances with our body. We've done uh, lots of different yoga poses that require balancing. So today, our body's gonna be completely relaxed and we're gonna get something else to do the balancing. By doing the balancing with something else, we're giving our minds something to work on, okay? So our minds get to focus on something, really get to get into something with lots of little detail, and that's gonna allow our body to really calm down because our mind has this one thing to work on. So, we're going to be balancing our soft toys. Well, it doesn't have to be soft toys. It can be absolutely anything that you've got in the house. Just as long as you're okay with it possibly falling over and it's not something that's going to break. So, of course, I wouldn't expect you to do this with your mum's best bowls and plates and glasses and things like that. That would just be silly. Make sure you're choosing things that are soft, that don't break when they fall over, and they're not worth a lot of money, yeah? So, things that you don't mind falling over. So soft toys are a great thing for this. So what I'm gonna try and create is a soft toy totem pole today. Hmm, let's have a look. The soft toys that I've got here, they're of all different sizes. How should I start my balancing totem pole? Well, I think it makes sense to start with the biggest first. So here's the biggest, Pugsley, the big bulldog. He's been eating a bit too much and he does a lot of sleeping, so he's quite large, a little bit fat. Let's get him down first. He's gonna be the start to my to totem pole. Okay, you right there, Pugsley? Ready for someone else to come on top of you? Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl is gonna go on top of him. Now notice how I'm kind of twisting Mr. Owl. I'm pushing him backwards, pushing him forwards. What I'm trying to do is to find that perfect place where he sits really balanced with no wobbles and he can't, he's not gonna fall over easily. Aha, okay, level one complete. Got two of my soft toys balanced. Let's have a look. I've got my tiger. I've got um, my little, um, uh, Sure, my little bird, and I've got uh, my mini Totoro. I think the tiger is next. Okay, get him on top of Mr. Owl. Oh, I can feel him like wanting to fall this way, so I'm gonna give him a little squish, put him back, put him forwards. Again, try and make sure. Oh, he doesn't feel like falling over. Good, okay. Two more to go. I've got the bird and Totoro. Bird is bigger, so I guess he goes next. Oh, can you see he's trying to fall over forwards? I'm gonna have to tilt him more backwards then. Maybe put him closer to the back of the tiger. Yeah, oh, he wants to fall left now. Can you see that? I'm gonna put him over this side to the right. Oh, now he wants to fall to the right. This is gonna take some concentrating, focus, bit of twisting, bit of moving very slightly left and right. Ha ha, okay. Don't wanna to talk too loudly in case my breath knocks over my totem pole. Last one, Totoro. This will make one, two, three, four, five soft toys. If you can do more than five, maybe send me a picture. Let's see if I can get Totoro balanced up here. Oh, Ooh. careful, tiny touches with my just my fingertips. Just my fingertips touching left and right. Oh, I think. Look at that, I've made my soft toy totem pole. Let's see if you can beat me. See if you can do five or more soft toys 
or any objects that you have in your house that are okay to balance. Have fun, take your time, really focus your mind, relax your body while you do it. Good luck.